Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and indeed information about the board games you might want to have in your collection. So are you in the mood to create something truly wondrous? Well if so, here's five things I think you need to know about Jiguan, the Eastern Mechanist. Thing one, theme. So what's this game all about? Well firstly, the word Jiguan, and I hope I'm pronouncing that even vaguely close to correctly, refers to an ancient type of Chinese science and mechanical engineering. And in this game you are a master mechanist, and you're attempting to build mechanical animals. And the game follows through um, how you get from blueprint to finished product. This is a very unusual theme, and not one I've come across before. But it kind of boils down to being something of an alchemist in a lab um, where you're putting the pieces together to construct your kind of final product. Um, it does remind me a little bit of the board game Alchemist, um, which has a kind of a similar theme where you're connecting colours um, and patterns to kind of create something. However, this game is definitely far more mechanical and less deductive. Um, in review, I have to say that the theme here is a very prevalent one, and it's one that you see in all of the game mechanics. Thing two, mechanics. So how does this game work? To me, it's still a little bit of a mystery, so you'll have to bear with me as this is my interpretation or how I played the game. The first thing you need to know is it is an engine building game quite literally, and the aim of it is to complete blueprints of mechanical animals, to raise your standing in various pagodas or pagodas or beautiful colour towers, and to gain bonuses and victory points from reward cards. So you'll start the game with both an assembly mat and a workshop mat in play, and at the start of each round you'll take a coloured cog from the gear supply. Now each coloured cog has a specific number and a specific colour on it and this is really important when it comes to completing your blueprints. Um, the blueprints themselves come in specific colours and they will have their own unique number on them. And what you're going to want to do is place three cogs down on your assembly board, which is a 3x3 three three grid, and have the three numbers add up to the number that's on your blueprint and that's how you complete them. Um, when you do that you get to flip over your blueprint token and you get to go up in the track um, that matches the colour of that mechanical beast and there are rewards for doing that and also as a reward you'll get to choose something from the row beneath that specific pagoda which normally means more blueprints or indeed reward cards. Now there is a bonus for matching the colour of your cog to the animal blueprint you've completed and this will give you energy and you're able to spend energy to acquire further reward cards. So in turn order what happens is you'll take the cogs from the board and then you'll be allowed to spend this energy that you have on your second mat. You can also spend coins to buy additional blueprints and coins you get from going up the pagoda track and then you get to complete your blueprints. The game is played over two rounds and you'll score at the end of each and you'll play until there are no cogs left in the gear supply section. Mechanically this game is a bit of a conundrum because the mechanisms themselves are fine and they fit together nicely but I don't know how good it feels to play. I guess it just feels a little bit unfinished to me and I don't really feel like I know how the puzzle pieces actually all fit together. It's interesting enough to play, it's definitely unique but I don't think the vision has been fully realised. Thing 3 on the table. There's quite a bit of setup to Jiguan. It's got a lot of small pieces that need to be in very specific locations. And when it's finally on the table, it's quite busy and involved. It takes about an hour for two of us to play this game and it's quite an involved one. Now the rule book here absolutely and entirely cripples this game. The translation in places is just plain odd and it, the rule book generally lacks a lot of specificity. When I say I've played this game, I'm still not entirely certain that I've played it correctly. Variability wise, however, there is some interest here in the fact that the cogs are different each time you play and also so are the reward cards. This is a game I can't imagine anybody getting bored of. Thing 4, Aesthetics. The colour choices used here are really unusual ones as your player colours are black, white, grey and brown. The box art is adorable and very inviting um, and it's disappointing that there isn't anything like that inside the game itself. In fact the only bit of colour we have comes in the gears and in those mechanical beasts um, and they really do stand out though against this stark backdrop of colour. 
The component quality is good and you can see more of that in my unboxing video and I'm a big fan of the little 3D airships. Aesthetically, compared to the other Emperor S4 releases, this game is very forgettable and I have to say I felt a little let down that I didn't get the game that the cover art kind of showed me to be there. Thing 5. Is this game any good? Well, Jiguan the Eastern Mechanist has given me a bit of a run for my money as a reviewer. Um, and the truth is I'm still kind of undecided about it despite how many times I've played it. Um, so you'll have to bear with me and I'll lay out what i found so far. So firstly, both the theme and the mechanics here are very, very innovative and incredibly fresh. This game doesn't feel like anything else I've played before. And it's a lot of fun to connect your coloured cogs with your coloured beats to go up the coloured track. Um, on a whole, it can be quite satisfying to play. However, I didn't feel like I was really in control of my winning or that I knew the best route to victory. Um, it's difficult to know exactly where all your mechanisms are taking you victory points wise. And while there are cards to give you victory points, some of them just seem definitively better than others. Um, at two players, um, your turns or your plans for your turns don't change a whole lot um, because on your opponent's turn they'll get to perform something that usually takes something away from the board and changes it entirely. Um, at three and four player counts I can imagine this game becoming quite chaotic um, as you have to wait quite a bit of time before it would come back to your turn and it would make it very difficult to plan ahead um, and that will suit some people and not others. The biggest gripe I have about this game is the rulebook um, and it is absolutely abysmal. I'm still not sure at this point that I actually know how to play the game or that any of the games I've played were even close to being inside the lines at all. Like what does connected mean? <laughs> um, you know why or how are you supposed to know which side of your player mat to use? There's a special ability on both sides. There's no way of indicating when you're supposed to use those or how you've even picked them. And I'm afraid that this rulebook has ruined this game for me. It makes it very unapproachable, extremely difficult to learn, and it doesn't answer any questions. And it's very difficult to play a game when you're not really sure if you're playing it correctly. So I didn't have any fun playing this because of that uneasiness. However, despite all of that, I think there is a cracker of a game in here underneath that all. Um, at least I, I hope there is because there's so much potential going on here. Do I think you should have Jiguan, the Eastern Mechanist, in your collection? Well, if you're looking to start out with some Emperor S4 titles, this isn't one I'd recommend. However, if you do want a bit of a challenge, you want something that's incredibly unique, and you like making connections and combos, there's a whole lot of potential here to be had. And it's being released at this Eschenspiel 2019. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel to get more updates about my most recent videos? Or if you'd like to make a comment or query about Jiguan the Easter Mechanist, why not leave them in the comment box below? I'd really, really, really love to hear from you. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.